Today, I'll be teaching you guys how you can recreate this paper mixed media effect. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be going over the super popular mixed media paper rip effect that's used a lot in music videos. And it overall just helps create texture and a real gritty feel to your projects and your work. But first off, I just wanna give a big shout out to Creative Flow YouTube channel. We'll be using his mixed media paper effect to recreate the effects in this tutorial. His pack is linked down below in the description. And please definitely go check out his work and all his tutorials. He's got some really great stuff. To recreate this effect, actually all you'll be needing is Premiere Pro. For those of who would actually like a more personal and custom paper feel to your music videos, I'll actually show you real quick how you can actually make your own paper presets and effects. All you'll need to recreate these overlays is some paper and a good camera. You also wanna shoot these in a dark and well-lit area. What you're gonna do is crumple up and wrinkle up some of the paper, give some rips to some other ones and use an X-Acto knife and cut out some shapes and squares that you might want in an overlay. Take a bunch of pictures and subtly move the papers in between to create a stop motion and frame by frame feel to it. Then once you're done with that, compile all your pictures together in a 12 frame per second video and boom, there you have your own paper overlays. But before we get started, if you guys could smash the like button and subscribe if you like this video, it's free, all this content is free, so it really, really mean a lot. But without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so now that we are finally inside of Premiere Pro, as you can see, I have all of the mixed media creative flow preset packs. I'm um, loading in here. If you created and shot some of your own, then you know just just import them frame by frame. Just a whole bunch of pictures. Um, pretty simple. They're all really cool. Honestly, you put a lot of time and effort into these, so please really make sure to go subscribe to his channel at least. So the first thing you're obviously gonna do is just pick out the the couple overlays that you like. I, I like this split screen one right here and this this zoom out box one. So now once you have your couple overlays selected, you're just gonna drag them over. I'm just gonna drag them over to this other part of the timeline. Um, hit sequence and close gap um, and delete the rest. Now we're gonna load in our video clips over here. So I just have some footage right here, um, just pretty much some basic stuff. I like to use this paper effect for the scenes in between music videos. I like to go throughout the footage. So let's say they're walking right here and I will honestly just cut it up at just really, really random points and then just drag it to, to cut together. So then we have these nice little break cuts that just break up the slow pace of the video, but still communicate the story that there is obviously, they're obviously walking somewhere or they're going someplace. And it kind of just makes the video feel a little bit more fast paced. I'm gonna get some shots of them walking. And once we put this all together, you can see we have this nice little fast collage of clips. Now you can even do this alone without any effects in your videos. That's how I used to pretty much do it, but I just found when I use these paper effects combined with this, it just really ties it in all together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just drag over my overlays. It's very, very simple. Or I could drag my clips under it, either or, it doesn't really matter. And now what you're gonna notice is that it looks um, very, very, very like, grainy and just gray. And the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, make sure that you're in, my mode is shift five for all panels and make sure that you go to the blending mode of all of these layers right here of the of the overlays and change it to linear dodge add, okay? So that just gets rid of that overly excessive, just extra grain and detail that we honestly don't need. You can click on the opacity under the effects controls, hit command C to copy it, and then drag and select the other clips, the other overlays, and hit command V to paste it. And then therefore, um, you can't see it right here, but they it just pasted the blending mode. And if you check, they're all now linear dodge add. So, you know, just saves us that hassle. So you can see now we have these nice little jump cuts and the paper overlay. Now it comes time for the fun part, which is the masking. So as you can see, um, this the way this preset is, is made, and it's actually really, really nice the way um, Creative Flow made this, is just how the square kind of zooms in and out. So I actually want a different shot in this square for save, just for my case example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this, this overlay um, up like two layers, and then I'm going to create a duplicate layer of all of these. So I'm just gonna select them, hold option and drag, and then you'll get a second layer of your video. All right, so now you can pretty much see we have the basis of our effect going on right here. But one thing that I'm noticing is just kind of messing up the flow of the video is that the frame rates are actually off. So that is because the paper overlay effect right here is at like 12 or 10 frames per second, while the rest of my video is at like 30 frames per second. So to fix this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come over here to the effects panel right here. I'm gonna search up posterized time, okay? We're gonna search up posterized time and we're gonna drag drag this to just one of the top layers for now and we're going to scroll over here to the effects control you'll see the posterized time and just hit change that to 12 okay 
So once you hit change that to 12, you'll see we have a lot more choppy feel of the video and it kind of matches the frame rate. I'm gonna click on this layer again. I'm going to select the posterize time and hit Command C to copy this. And then I'm just going to select all of the other clips, select, select, and then I'm just going to hold Command V to paste it. And now you can see um, our Premiere Pro might become a little bit choppy. I could turn off one layer just for better visibility, but it definitely adds that more paper texture feel to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna come through all of these top layers right here and I'm just going to zoom in on the scale. So I might just choose a random point wherever that is and just zoom in onto their face. So I'm just gonna zoom into um, this face right here and it honestly doesn't matter where, but you're just pretty much gonna do the same for all these top layers right here. Like right here, I just might zoom in onto his hood, right hoodie right here and, and watch how that plays out. And I'm just gonna do that for all of the top layers. I'm still keeping the bottom layer off right here just so that the visibility and rendering works out. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit mask, okay? I'm going to hit the opacity and square tool right here just because these are squares. And I'm just going to drag these squares all the way to the corner. Um, of, of the, the squares on the overlay. And I'm gonna drag these corners all the way over to the corners of the overlay. Feather right here is set at 10, which is honestly perfect for this effect. And then everything else is pretty much great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the keyframe on mask path, and then I'm going to move two frames ahead and hit the keyframe again. Then I'm gonna move one frame ahead and I'm going to adjust the mask. Then I'm gonna move one frame ahead and then hit keyframe again. And then I'm gonna move one frame ahead again and then I'm going to just adjust the mask again and you can pretty much see where this is going we are just going to manually adjust the mask so that um, it, it moves with the keyframes and it adjusts into a smaller box and if you play that back you can see we have a nice expansionary cutout effect and it just feels really nice and in tune with the video if you turn on the visibility of the bottom layer you can see we have this nice layering effect going on right here and they're actually cut out to be that way i'm going to go ahead and just pretty much do the same thing for the next layer i'm going to hit the mask tool right here i make sure i hit the mask path key and then i'm just going to move a couple frames forward and see wherever that overlay adjusts to and i'm just going to adjust the mask now now, while this can be a bit tedious, it really honestly is the best way to just achieve the best effect. You can just mask it without masking in between to make sure that it maintains the, the stop motion feel to it. So what I mean by that is for say, if at this frame it's masked into the square and then I move two frames ahead and then adjust the mask to the next frame, but without stopping to keyframe and catch that one in between, it might offset and adjust. And you can see we might have some frames right here where the actual frame is out of frame with the little paper overlay. Now this is where it comes to preference. If that's something that bothers you or something that you're like, you know what, it's fine. I don't care as long as I get a basic effect. It's so fast anyways, then you know, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. But just for best effect right now, and because I'm teaching this tutorial, I'm just going to go in between and mask every single tiny little frame going on right here. And lastly, for this split video effect, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm just going to, once again, duplicate this bottom layer. I'm going to extend it actually, and then I'm just gonna cut it to another random part actually. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing for the mask and opacity, and pretty much just drag a nice, fitted mask for this entire right side over here. I'm gonna drag that over and then hit a mask path keyframe in the middle. And then wherever the middle line moves to, I'll just adjust the mask. So you can see it moved over here and I adjust it, but then in the shots in between, it might be moving a little bit and you might have that offset placement. Move it back a little bit maybe a little bit forward right here. Now, once you play this out, you can see we have a nice split screen effect going on right here. And it just helps tell the story faster and from multiple angles all in one shot. And there you have it. You can see this effect works pretty much the same with pretty much any paper effect that we have from the Creative Flow pack or the ones that you made yourself. Like for example, like for example, this clip right here, I can, wait. Like for example, this clip right here, I can just drop, wait. Like for example, this clip right here, I can just drop this 
paper effect over it and boom, we have a nice paper effect already going on right here. All I have to do is add the posterized time and just change the value to 12 frames per second. And that honestly already looks pretty great to me. For this rip texture effect, what I do is just mask around the circular path and just make different distorted edges just so it has a real actual paper feel to it like you're cutting out and ripping out a collage and turning it into a music video. And given that there's just so many paper options from this pack, that which you guys should definitely go cop by the way if you haven't already, it really just makes it super easy to create paper effects like this. And after all this countless masking, here is my final effect. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't yet already, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It really means a lot. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below for any ideas or effect tutorials that you'd like to see from us in the future. Remember to follow us on Instagram and add us if you create anything cool. We'd love to see what you guys make. Once again, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.